Hello and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y video and the Game Beaver and this is one of those generic intros. Hey, Yeah, that was quite cringy. So, here we go. This is uh, my friend Seth. Good friend. Uh, he's going to be really, really annoyed at me for uploading this video because he did do a few battles with me and I, I will probably put them up because he did beat me a few times but this was the uh he wanted to try a rain dance team and if you can check down there we have the uh, the polito to get that free drizzle off we have probably a hydration gudra a rain dish uh ludicolo uh a swift swim if i'm right because i remember looking this up betic betic can learn swift swim which is a dead weird i think but then again if we're doing if we uh, suppose pokemon is the real world polar bears can swim four miles so i guess that kind of works and of course, we're going to have that Rain Dish uh, Tentacle with the Rapid Spin and maybe Toxic Spikes. And I, I've never really fought one of these warty frogs so much so that I can't remember its name. Uh, yeah, we're going to jump right in here. Let's get started because uh, I remember when I saw this team, I was thinking, oh, yeah, this is going to be a Rain Dance team. And I was really unsure. You see, I'm great when I don't know what the other person has on their team, like what moves and uh, what abilities, but I'm good at guessing and that's what I'm good at predicting. Reset is great if he knows what you're running on your Pokemon and a few he didn't know. So he gets that result and goes to the Ice Beam. I don't know whether he was wanting to freeze or predicting me switching, but no. I'm gonna cripple that Politoed, so you are gonna be screwed with your little baby hair. So, <laughs> so out goes Wet Wabs. Congrats on the name. So, <laughs> Frog Prince, I guess, with a face like that, you'd have to be a prince to even get by. So, uh, he, I was predicting him switching, so I would go for the non Thunder Wave, but maybe he was predicting that too. So, here we go. We get the, uh, the Eye Bobs hurt, we get the Rocky Helmet hurt, we get the Life Orb hurt, and we're gonna get the Leaf Seed hurt too. So, within one foul swoop, he has done um, half damage to his ugly, ugly, fugly toad. <laughs> and it hasn't do, done too much damage to me. So I go for the protect, wondering what he's gonna do. And yeah, he goes for the, uh, he goes for Drain Punch. I so didn't do that protect to get another Leech Seed off. No. Yes, I did. So I know that if he hits me, which he does do, um, he's gonna get quite a bit of health back. But because I have an HP of my uh, Ferrothorn, it's not going to be enough. So, Iron Bob's work, he's down to less than half. The Rocky Helmet works and he's down to less than a quarter. His own Life Orb hurts and puts him in the red. My Leech Seed happens and I get a crap ton of health back because uh, this Palpitoad... That's, I remembered it by accident! This Palpitoad uh, has a lot of HP. So not only that... Yeah. He's, he, that, this Pokemon is screwed, basically when it comes next up. So out comes his Miss Watson, his Betic, and I was hoping just to do one more protect and follow it off, but he goes for the sword dances and yeah. Uh, I as soon as I see that I'm like, I have this poke I have my Baba Seed right out now and it can't do anything to stop this. The only thing I could do is cripple it. And I was hoping that he was gonna set, do the risky double setup. And he does. He does go for the risky double setup. He goes for those two sword dancers. Right now, even if he does priority, he's going to probably KO most of my team with that priority. And uh, kind of ice shard with those two sword dancers. So luckily enough, I was going to say luckily enough, I paralyzed him. But he, he, he knew exactly why he went up for the second sword dance. And that's because he knows my, my Ferrothorn has that Thunder Wave. Uh, congrats, Seth. You predicted me perfectly. Thanks. So, if anything, I go to scout what he's going to do, and he's going to go for this superpower, not caring if he loses defense or not. So I thought, you know, screw it, I'm going to do more damage to you, and I'm going to get that Leech Seed off. So I, I know that a superpower is coming my way, and I'm like, you know what, you can do damage to yourself, whatever. So he goes for Icicle Crash, um, and I'm pretty sure that only does double damage if I've hit him, which I don't. So, I take this opportunity to go for my Thunder Wave, which is perfect, because I survive it. My team is on form. This thing cannot be stopped. And that's why I'm trying so hard to get a shiny, because I love Ferrothorn. Uh, I fought one, 
and I've been on the receiving end, and it has been horrible. So, unfortunately, his, his uh, rain dance uh, ends, and he gets his uh, polytoed out. And as soon as I saw that end, I was thinking, yes, he's going to switch in. So just to get some more health back, I knew that was happening. And be, just to prove that I knew he was going to switch out, his bad tick was already leech seeded, so I knew he was going to switch, and therefore I get some more health back, because I desperately needed it at this point. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a single Pokemon with a flame move, because if he did, he would have sent it out by now. Especially against a, a Ferrothorn. You do. If you've got anything of fighting, you send it out straight away next, which is why he sends out his bad tick. But unfortunately, I get some paralyzed hacks off. And I'm going to get even more health back from this Leech Seed. Again, I knew he was going to switch because I did another Leech Seed. So every time he switched in, he's just giving me a free Leech Seed because I, I knew exactly what he was going to do. Unfortunately, he gets, another, he gets paralyzed again. Um, and I was, I was predicting another switch, so I go for a Thunder Wave. Because right now, there's nothing really I can do. Um, and it, he does switch now. He's had two paralyzers in a row. And he sends out his Frog Prince. And uh, I didn't want to be that kind of guy who always went for Thunder Wave, Leech Seed, or Protect. So I used my only attacking move, Gyro Ball. And luckily enough, even though it wasn't very effective, it did take him out. And now out comes Antonio. Yeah, this is going to be the Rain Dish uh, Ludicolo. Oh, and it has Focus Blast, so I'm hoping without that stab. Oh, it leaves me 3%. <laughs> He's got to be so annoyed. So here we go, I get the Thunder Wave off again, because I knew, uh, what can I do? I was probably predicting I was going to die. So I go for the Protect, uh, just to see what he was going to do, and he goes for the Skull. There we go, there's a Skull. So he has this Pokemon to try to cripple any physical attacker that I have, but unfortunately, it doesn't work out the way. So I know that my Warhog may survive it, but he gets paralyzed again, so that's, I think we're on three times. Three of those paralyzed hacks. Um, so after I stealth, I ah, she'll stop talking. I set out my stealth cox. Yeah, I'm using it. I like that name. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna roll with those stealth rocks. And I go for the earthquake. And I was, I, I kind of forgot that he had a resistance to it. If uh, if I would remember that, I would probably would have went for the uh, icicle uh, spear. But of course, that focus blast. Oh, he's gonna tear straight through my warhog. Yeah. I'm kind of running out of ideas for these, for uh, for that Mama Swine. I was thinking, you had face paint and you've had uh, War Pig or other stuff like that, but I was like, Warhog, let's, let's go for the old Halo. So I go for the Shadow Sneak, predicting him to go for a Focus Blast, so I change into a Ghost type, which it wouldn't affect me, but he goes for that Giga Drain, which I'm kind of glad uh, I wasn't still a Water type for that. But luckily... He activates my Citrus Bearer, and if you don't know, I carry Acrobatics with this thing, and when you don't have a held item, it boosts its attack to 110 base. With the stab, we're looking at hefty almost 200 digits here. So, that's gone. We're over 150 base power for this uh, for this Acrobatics. So, he sends out his uh, Polytoad, and just to get that drizzle one last time, that's the only reason he's got it on this team, and I'm pretty sure he just fodders it off. So, I was predicting him to switch, uh, and I wasn't sure that uh, my acrobatics would kill him, so I thought, you know, let's just go for this uh, this water shuriken, and take that damage. So, uh, with the boosted rain dance, but with the resistance, yeah, I was thinking, let's see what he was going to do. He goes to the ice beam, so, yeah, I thought if I switched into a water type, it would do a resistance, because if I switched into the flying, didn't kill him, and he went for the ice beam, I'd be dead. So he goes for the Toxic, and I switch it to my Clefkey, of course, the Steel doesn't affect Poison, so... Ah, uh, that was a great predict prediction there, I was wondering what else could he run on this, uh, this thing, and if it's a Staller, because it will be, it's a Polytoad, it, it doesn't really have great special attack, or attack, it's just HP and defense, special defense, he's probably gonna have that Toxic on him, and knowing Set, he runs Toxic on a lot of things, so he goes for the Surf, but thankfully I went for the, uh, Calm Mind, so... His Polytoad can't really touch me. So instead of going for that extra, extra uh, Calm Mind, I predict he's going to have something else in this thing. And guess what? He has Encore. So 
That was amazing predictions. He, if I was greedy, I could have went for that extra car mine, but I didn't. I thought maybe, maybe he might have Encore on this thing. So I go for my Drain Kiss. So unfortunately for me, I'm locked into my plus one. Uh, come on, how come Squidward? Uh, lovely, lovely name. So I go for my Draining Kiss. He's going to get the uh, resistance on this. And that's quite a bit. So I wasn't expecting Tentacruel to have that much of a resistance. And I know it has quite a lot of uh, special defense and maybe HP even, but it, I was thinking it could have a salt vest, but with that black sludge, that throws that out the window. So now that I know there's nothing that can stand in my way, I go for my triple D knees. And he goes for the rapid spin. I was predicting that because there's only one thing you would do if you got if he's got if I've got stealth rocks on him and he's got tentacle, and that's rapid spin. So I thought I'd take that as an opportunity to switch in my triple D's or my Mega Medicham. So here's a shiny Mega Medicham for you people if you haven't seen it. It's beautiful. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous shiny. It's a shame that it doesn't really switch. So I go for my Thunder Punch and I know that Tentacle doesn't really have too much good defense. It's kind of a glass cannon in that respect. It's great for special defense, but defense is kind of uh, kind of not too great. A bit like Chansey, Blissey, and Boudre. But you can't have it all unless you're Shuckle and even then, you don't really have anything to do. So, out comes his bear tick, and of course it's crippled. I get the critical. Don't know what. Doesn't that happen? You get criticals when you really don't need them. So his bear tick didn't stand a chance against that fighting. Yeah, even with full HP, I'm pretty sure he would have taken it down. So he's just down to his... His whole team's in wheelchairs. They're all paralyzed. So uh, I just go for my thunder punch. I could have been a cheeky and went for an ice punch or a fire punch, but... I didn't want to risk, uh, I, I wanted this 5-0 victory. Uh, so I, finally out comes his Gouda, which hasn't seen the playing field at all. It doesn't get hurt by the uh, the rocks, but just to show how much of a glass cannon Gudra is with defense. There it is, one ice punch from a Mega Medicham, which I, I'm going to say, if it survived, I would have been very surprised. But anyway, that is going to be the game, and that's a 5-0 victory. So... Uh, yeah, I think there was a certain point when Set knew it was over. But he, he challenged me, I was just breeding. And I, I was about to challenge him, he challenged me. And I saw that team and I thought, oh my god, I'm either going to get really sweeped here, or uh, I'm going to do really well. He said that uh, he got sweeped by a girl who just had like a Trevenant. That's all it got sweeped by, just one Trevenant. And I can, I can kind of see why, because he doesn't really have any physical defense. Except for that uh, Palpitoad, but again, that's a times four weakness to that Horn Leech or any grass move, anyway. Which, uh, he switched in a, uh, his Palpitoad when I had my Gudra out, actually. And I was thinking that's a bit odd, because I could have easily went for the grass knock. But hey, I wasn't running on that. He might have not even thought of that, but I've seen it before. So, or in, I think it was my uh, Greninja, actually. But anyway, that was the game. If you've enjoyed it, uh, share, share the love. I mean, what could be the worst thing? And if you put your name and friend code down, I'll, I'll challenge you and you might end up on this channel. So till next time, bye bye